It's Sunday night, and out of my boredom, I've done something fairly silly. And I've decided to take out the beloved R9270X and place in something significantly less powerful. The Radeon HD 5450 to be exact. Now, this is a pretty unimpressive card, but I thought today's task might be fairly interesting. Now, since it's a piece of shit, I wanted to see if I could make it any faster and squeeze a little more performance out of it, because currently any performance increase is welcome. Now, of course, before we do this, we are going to have to get another cup of tea, so I'll check back in when I have that, and we will see if we can make this thing any faster. <laughs> and, uh, perhaps bring the fire extinguisher, because I plan to overclock this thing to breaking point. Sit back, make yourself a cup of tea, and enjoy the ride. Now, with the tea and the toast, Ready to go, we can begin with trying to pull some power out of this little piece of shit. So, first off, the GPU temperature has not even been stressed, so we're running it still the average kind of one. So we're going to get it combusting now and see if we can get it to heat up a little bit. Oh, goodness, my god, this is slow. There we are. Whoa. Just, it, it really is clear that this GPU is, is not having a whole lot of fun here. What's quite nice about this card, being fanless I must admit, is the fact that its heatsink is so exposed you can actually put your hand on it and feel the GPU's warmth. Uh, and right now it's 42 so it's only, maybe, it only feels to me lukewarm. But uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. At the 671 megahertz clock speed, we're stabilizing around the same temperature. We had a small lift in temperature when we actually kicked the core up, but it stabilized back to 54 and hasn't moved a whole lot since then. So we're going to try and push probably for about, hmm, let's grab the slider in and we'll do another push up to probably about 600. Oh, that's too high for now. Let's, actually, no, let's try 680. So we're going to try 680 megahertz and uh, see how the temperature goes now. 20 minutes later. So uh, we restarted and our display driver still works, which is great. And we're running at 800 megahertz and we've turned the memory clock down. I think the memory clock might have been to blame for our artifacts. And we're getting impressive frame rates on the Texel test. Apparently we can push it hard. Oh my god. <laughs> and we just lost the screen. Okay, we're gonna go probably for a restart. And uh, I think, I think uh, 800 megahertz might be a bit of a push. So what we'll do is turn that down now. So uh, we pushed it, we pushed it up to about 850 megahertz, but the white artifacts, and <laughs> as you saw in the last clip, that was that was a little lower than 850, but we still actually lost the display driver only minutes into our uh, benchmarking. So I think we're probably going to not stick with that. And it's not a matter of heat, I don't think, because the GPU is only 56 degrees. Uh, so I think it's definitely just the GPU doesn't like being clocked that high. But what we found the sweet spot is, is about 770 megahertz. It is happily working around here. We still get a frame rate improvement. And it there are no artifacts that I can see at this point in time, at least. Uh, so what we're going to do is jump into the benchmarks and see if we've managed to get any more performance. To be completely honest, Minecraft did actually feel noticeably quicker. Now whether that's the placebo effect or not, I don't know. Minimum on uh, 
Minecraft was zero, the max was 57, and the average was 25, which isn't great, but it's not bad. And the minimum on with the 770 megahertz overclock was 20 megahertz, with the, sorry, it was 20 frames per second, and that's that's a, that's similar to the average of the stock clock speed, which is whoa, you know. And the max frames per second was 64, which is not that a whole lot more than 57, but that's okay. And the, but the average was 36 versus 25, and that was that. And I, I did notice there was a much more smoothness to it. It was, it was still playable at 25, but it was jittery. And with 30, uh, running at 36 frames per second, it's certainly it's quite quite playable. Sorry, a minimum of three frames per second, a max of seven, and an average of four frames per second. Pretty crappy. But then when we kicked it up to 770 megahertz. We got 13 frames per second at the lowest, which is uh, crap. The maximum was 26, which is, that's playable, but, you know, the average was 20. Now 20, I mean, 20 is pretty crappy. I mean, and you saw it before, it was choppy, but compare that to four frames per second, and all of a sudden, it's, it's, it's a world of difference. So that's really good. At, at 38, we had 38 frames per second on the minimum. Uh, 87 at the max and an average of around 58. All pretty good, but when you just clock it up to 770 megahertz, the minimum is 44 frames per second, which is definite improvement. The maximum is 100 frames per second. My god, I, I never knew the 5450 could do this. And the average is 64, a very smooth playable 64, even in the busiest of exploding scenes, we're still getting an average of 64 frames per second. Really, really good stuff. So there you go. You really can get quite a bit more performance out of just simply adding a bit of clock speed to your little 5450. Now of course it will run slightly hotter as we've seen earlier in the video but not bad considering you did not pay a single dollar for that extra performance yeah, you could have gone out and bought a better card but my god this thing <laughs> it's very I went into this video with a quite a sharp hate for this card and I'm leaving this video uh, very very impressed with it actually so, yeah, well, there you go. You can definitely get a bit of performance out of your card, and quite a bit of quite a substantial amount of performance actually, just by clocking the clock speed up a little bit. So, 770. We went from 650 megahertz to 770 megahertz, which is not bad. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.